most good people, it's BusyWorks Beats.com. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how QBeats makes his dark samples in FL Studio. So before we get to this video, make sure to drop a like, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and make sure to follow me on Instagram so you never uh, miss an upload or if you wanna stay up to date with the channel and the videos. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So first I'm going to set my tempo to around 120. And I already kind of started the melody here just to have a division for the video. I'm using this drones guitar library in contact and this is how the melody sounds so far. I'm going to raise the tempo a little bit. So 130 should be good. Uh, now let's copy this over and let's make it different on the second part. Now let's see how that sounds so far, uh, but first off I'm going to randomize the velocities a little bit, make it sound even more natural and let's just lower the velocity of these bottom notes a little bit and let's see how that sounds. Okay, that sounds good. Let's erase a little bit. Okay, that sounds good. And now I'm going to add some effects to this guitar. So let's add some RC20. And let's add Valhalla Vintage Verb and I'm going to use this Tin Plate preset. Okay, this melody sounds really far so far, so now I'm going to open up Contact and I'm going to search for some strings, some flute or something like that. Oh my god, this sounds crazy, what the hell? So I'm just using this Intimacy preset and it's in A minor, so just tune it one uh, semitone up. And this is how the melody sounds so far. Beautiful, beautiful man. Let's just add some effects to this flute as well. So let's check out some of the low frequencies. And let's add some reverb. I'm going to use thin preset as always, thin plate preset. Now I'm going to open up Omnisphere and I'm going to add some piano in the background. I'm going to use this default uh, grand piano for that from Keyscape.
Now let's randomize the velocities of these and let's uh, lower the velocity a little bit. And let's also strum these notes. So this piano is just going to be in the background to give it more of a texture and now let's add some reverb to this. Now I'm going to use Arcade and I'm going to fill this beat with some vocals and then I'm going to render the sample out and I'm probably going to add some drums on, on this so... Okay so I finally found the vocals that I like is these Zenith Follow vocals from Distance Voices and make sure you set the same scale here as you're using so I'm, I'm working in A sharp minor here as you can see so I've already set the A sharp minor scale in Arcade and now I'm going to lay down these vocals Okay, that sounds pretty good, I'm not going to lie. Now let's just add some effects to this and I'm going to try the sample in a different key and stuff like that. Stuff we always do on this channel, you already know. So let's open up here EQ and let's just cut out the frequency that I don't like in here. And as always, let's just add some reverb and that should be it. Now let's take a final listen to the sample and then I'm going to probably change the key and stuff like that. Okay, now I'm going to add this uh, sound pitch shifter on the master and I'm going to see if the sample sounds better pitch down or pitch uh, up. So let's try minus two semitones. That's insane. That sounds insane. Let's just render the whole sample out and I'm going to pitch it down to semitones. So you might be wondering why I have it here this little space between the sound and that's because uh, as you can see I added the reverb on literally every single sound here and that reverb, uh, that reverb decays on other sounds so I make uh, those little pockets between the sounds so when I render it out I'm just going to chop it and yeah it's, it's going to sound good I hope so. Let's go to the master, let's click this record button and let's go Alt and R. As I always say, make sure you're in the song mode and just click start and it will render the whole sample out. So now that you have the whole sample here, this is what I was talking about, this little sound here. That decay from the reverb, so now I'm going to delete these pockets here and let's just move this sound together. Now we can try this sample in a different key, so as I said, let's pitch it down to semitones. And now let's take a listen to the final sample we make. That's beautiful man. And that is pretty much it for this sample, I hope you guys did enjoy and I hope you guys learned something new. Let me know what you think about this sample in the comment section below. And also you can leave some ideas for the future videos because as you can see by my channel I've been lacking on ideas. So thank you so much for watching this video and I'm gonna see you in the next one.